Hello and welcome back to another Technology Guru video. So today, we're going to be taking a look at Discord. It is a voice and text chat app that is a free application that you can download, install, and utilize uh, on your mobile devices like iOS and Android. It's available for Mac and Windows PC, obviously. It is used primarily by gamers, but it's also used by communities like YouTubers and Twitch streamers and people like that. So if you're looking to uh, set up Discord and figure out how to utilize the application, for the next five minutes, I'm going to be showing you all of the nitty gritty details you'll need to be a Discord chat pro or whatever you want to call yourself. So let's go ahead and dive into it. So as you see here, I have the main Discord pan panel available to me here. If I click the three heads up top, it's going to show me my friends list. Obviously, if you're just getting started, you're not going to have any friends. So sad. Go up here to the add friend button here in the upper corner here. You can enter their Discord tag number here. They can send that to you and then you can send a friend request. Also, you're going to see friend suggestions. This is going to be all based off of the uh, different platforms that you've linked Discord to. So you can link Discord to your Twitch account, to your YouTube channel, to your Skype account. Uh, so it keeps all of it in one beautiful place. Now, the main feature of the Discord application in general is the ability to create and join what they call servers. So if we click here, here's one I created for the purposes of this tutorial. It's called the Technology Guru Server. Now, in order to create a server for yourself, you need to click the addition symbol here, which will be at the very bottom of the left-hand side of the screen. It's just a little addition symbol with the dotted lines around it. Click that there. It's then going to allow you to either create or join. At this point, you may not want to create, you just want to join your friends or the people you play games with. You can click the green button that says join a server. Click that now. And then once you've clicked that, you're going to see where it says enter an instant invite link below to join an existing server. And it will look a little something like this. It'll be a short one like this, or it may be a little longer like this. It'll always say discord.gg slash whatever the channel or server name is. Paste that in the box there, click join, and you are good to go, my friends. When you join a server on the left-hand side, you're going to see the circle or the icon right here. So as you can see, here's the Overwatch server here. Here's the Blizzard server here. Here's the Hearthstone server there. So you got the different servers that I have joined uh, previously. And then once you're inside of a server, you have the different channels. So you have text channels, and then you have voice channels. So you are able to communicate either via text or via voice. And again, you, going through the settings later, I'm going to show you how to set up your microphone and everything to where you're not going to get on people's nerves. So that's how you basically join a server. Now, if you want to create your own server, click the addition symbol once more, click the create server. This time it's the blue button and then type in the server name here. So we'll type in say tech guru, just like that. And then you want to change the server region to be wherever you're located. Let's go US East in my case. Then you can click on the icon to change the icon to whatever you want the icon to be. We'll change it to this little head here and then click create. Now you have a brand new Discord server available to you. Once you're here, you're going to have to do a few different things. You've got your text channels and your voice channels on the left-hand side here. You can always add more text channels and add more voice channels by clicking the addition symbol right next to the relative channel you're wanting to create. So in this case, it's going to be a new text channel. What we're going to do is type in text channel one. Uh, and then once you're done creating the channel, click create. Now there's a difference in channels and servers. Servers are the main hub, then there's channels within those main hubs. So you have text and voice. So again, to create a voice channel, click the addition symbol, type the name, click create, and you're good to go. Underneath that, you're going to see the people who are in that channel. Obviously, this is a brand new server. The only person here is myself. <laughs> so no one else is going to be in this. Uh, underneath this box here, you're going to be able to invite your friends by clicking the share button right here. It's going to provide you with that link I was telling you about earlier. This is the short link that's going to allow people to just type this in their mobile device or their, their computer, wherever they are, and go directly to join your server. Go ahead and click this link here, set the link to never expire. That way, if it takes your friends a little while to click the link, it won't expire and you won't have to go through the process of creating another short link for them to go find. That can get a little confusing. Underneath the settings tab, underneath this here, you'll see it says expire never, uh, max number of users. You don't wanna have a limit, but 
it may be something you're doing for Patreon or something like that, and you may want to limit the amount of users, and you can do that here. I mean, not users, uses in this case. So generate a new link, and that's how you do that. So that's really how you create and join servers, which will be, the for the most part, what you're going to be doing within Discord. Now let's talk about settings and how to get this configured to the way you want to utilize it. Now in order to access the main settings panel for Discord, down at the bottom you're going to see your name, like mine is techguru77, right here you're going to see a mute button that's going to mute your microphone that you have connected to Discord, then you're going to see a deafen button that's going to allow you to, not only is it going to mute you, but it's also going to allow you to where you're not going to hear all the jibber jabber in your channels if they're getting on your nerves, and then right here you're going to see user settings. That's where we're going to want to go next. Under user settings, I'm going to go through these one by one. Under the account section here, you're going to see your username. You're going to see your avatar. You click that if you want to change your avatar. As you see here is a picture of myself and my daughter. Then the email associated with your account. And then if you want to, you can change your password. Nitro, not really going to go over that. This is the way they monetize the application. You can get some features and things that are not available on the free version. But in my opinion, everything works works just fine with the free version. Under connections, as I was telling you earlier, you can connect different things like your Battle.net account, your Steam account, your Skype account. I've connected a few different things. If you're wanting to connect something, basically all you have to do is click on the thing you're wanting to connect. Like here, you can connect your Steam account. Click that guy there. It'll take you through the process of actually connecting both accounts. Under privacy and settings, change those if you want. Text and images, Again, this is going to say if you have like a slower computer or machine, if you don't want pictures and links and videos to come through on the chat, you can s decide what you want coming through. Under voice, this one's probably one of the most important ones. The input device for me is going to be my audio interface. The output device for me is also my audio interface because I have my headphones connected to my audio interface. Now, be very careful in this panel here. You don't want to be that one person in the channel that's so loud people are getting so annoyed they mute you immediately. So on your input volume, you probably want to slide this down just slightly, uh, just for the purposes of not blowing people's headphones off. And then input mode here, this is going to allow you to select whether it be pu push to talk or voice activity. For the most part, all channels and servers are set up to push to talk. And then I have my mouse button three to be that button. So I, I type in the middle mouse button, uh, hold it down, and then I'm able to talk. Now, when someone's talking in voice, you, what you'll see, I'll show you in a second here. Let's go ahead and get out of this. When someone is talking in voice, let's go to this channel here and then go to, let's say, raid one here. If I were to be talking in voice, if I hold down the middle button, you can see there's a green circle going around my profile image that lets you know that I am now talking. That's the person that's talking. That's how you know if your push to chat is working. So now we're going to go back into the settings and then go back to voice and then you can play around with these. There's even, even advanced settings to basically process the audio and to make it a little better if that's what you're wanting to do. Under notifications, I have all of these unchecked. I hate notifications, but if you want notifications every time someone sends you a message or every time someone deafens themselves or whatever, you can have as many notifications as you want. I am of, of the mantra of the less notifications I can have, the better. Under keybinds, I don't have any, but if you want to add a keybind for push to talk, push to mute, you can do that here. To remove a keybind, click the little trash icon there. Under appearance, there's two different options. There's a white, clear, lighter version or a darker black version. I prefer the lighter version. It makes me, uh, it may, it's able to, I'm able to see it better. Uh, under games, you can add games. Like if you have games on your computer that you want to connect, you can do that here. Under locale, basically for me, it's going to put where you're located at. Streamer mode, you can enable or disable streamer mode if you are a Twitch streamer. There's a few different options you have. It, it, it allows you to bring in your viewers and whatnot into the different channels. And then under security, you can enable two-factor authentication, authentication if that's what you want to do. So that's basically it on the settings and how to create and join a server. I'm sure there's some little nitty-gritty details that I missed. So if you have any questions or having problems with your Discord, please let me know in the comments section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. I think it was helpful uh, when I was doing the research for this video, I learned a lot. So, oh, one last thing. If you wanna move a channel to the top, you can take one, click and hold, and drag this guy wherever you want in the list. So guys, thanks again for always, always watching my videos. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you would, click that subscribe button. If this helped you out, hit the like button, share it with your friends and family, and I will see you guys in the next one.